And most children and even some adults may have enjoyed a fun day in the snow. But if you built a snowman, it probably was not big enough to use tires for eyes. Take a look. This snowman is in Wisconsin took nearly a month to build, and it also has a stack of tires making up its hat. A man named Jim Smith built the giant snowman for a few friends. Now he let a local kindergarten class pick a name, and they chose Olaf, after the snowman character, of course, in the Disney movie Frozen. First Alert Weather is brought to you by the Medical Center. Snowman also had a sign out front that said, Don't tread on me. Sorry. I'll retire that joke. Crickets. Okay. All right. Uh, as we're all trying to get rid you can laugh. Yeah, she won't. Okay. Uh, as we're trying to get rid of the uh, snow and ice that fell from yesterday and the day before, which was, by the way, the most that we've had here in Bowling Green since 2010. Remember around Christmas time, we had about six inches of snow? Well, Yesterday was the first time we've had that big of a winter event here in southern Kentucky. And this morning, temperatures are starting in the teens, so that means what's on the ground stays on the ground a little bit longer until we get the melting process underway. And that will happen starting today, even though it's well below freezing now and there's lots of slick roads and snow and ice-covered roadways. Be careful this morning. A lot of this will melt today thanks to ample sunshine and temperatures finally getting above freezing. Well, as we talk about the snow event from uh, yesterday and the day before, the official storm total for Bowling Green, that snow plus sleet as they add it all together, 4.8 inches at the Bowling Green Airport, 3.4 of that was since midnight Sunday to midnight Monday, mainly late Sunday night into Monday morning. That was a new one-day record for the city of Bowling Green. So it was significant, almost to the five-inch mark. Some of you did make it there. Temperatures this morning in the teens all the way around. In fact, a couple of tens, Hodgenville, Campbellsville, some 11s, 12s, 13s, 14s, 15s, a couple of 16s down toward the Cumberland Lake or Lake Cumberland area. Barron River Lake this morning. We're seeing high temperatures hopefully this afternoon above freezing to 37 for Bowling Green and Glasgow, 38 for Scottsville and Franklin. By the way, the Kentucky Lottery Powerball jackpot now estimated to be at $40 million for the Wednesday night drawing and the next Mega Millions estimated to be at $240 million. Now here's a shot we've been showing you a lot of lately with the winter storm, and that's down Scottsville Road, the busiest highway in South Central Kentucky as far as uh, just U.S. highways go. And you can see that some clearing has taken place, but down the center turning lane, the median, and on the sides of the road where the scrapers have been going through and scraping off some of the ice and the snow. Remember, we had two to three inches of ice and a coating of snow on top, so it's going to take a while to get rid of some of this, but they have been out treating the roads and scraping the roads even early this morning in hopes that by the morning commute things are a little bit better than they were yesterday. 12 degrees now in Bowling Green. Feels like 5 with an east wind at 4 miles per hour. You can see the icicle hanging off of our Russellville AAA Systems weather cam, but uh, still lots of snow and ice there in Logan County. 12 degrees, your temperature reading. Mammoth Cave National Park, you're starting out mainly fair with a few high clouds and a temperature of 13. Same for Litchfield. In Grayson County, you're improving today as far as your roadways around the area, too. You're at 13. 13 at the airport in Bowling Green. Single digits to the north, 20s, 30s to the south. We're 7 degrees colder than we were at this hour just yesterday morning. Skies cleared overnight with high pressure and control. Just a few high clouds streaking by this morning, but otherwise we're going to see a mostly sunny to partly sunny day. High pressure and control and moving east as we go through time. In fact, fairly tranquil weather coming for us over the next few days after the winter storm. We get a break here for several days. In fact, it's going to be very nice and warm to a warmer. It was a gradual warm up over the next few days. Temperatures getting back into the 40s and 50s. We don't see any major winter storms or spring storms coming in anytime soon. 
Partly sunny this morning, mostly sunny this afternoon. Not as cold, and 37 should help the melting process begin today. Partly cloudy cold tonight as things refreeze. Whatever melts today will freeze overnight with a low of 18. Tomorrow, though, back to 44 and mostly sunny, 46 on Thursday. How about Friday's high at 57 degrees, 55 on Saturday. As we get a little bit of light rain with the system coming in, uh, early Sunday morning, some of that could be a wet snowflake or two. But by the way, Sunday, daylight saving time begins and we move ahead or spring forward one hour, a high of 50 and then 60 by Monday. And one other note, today was supposed to be the uh, statewide test tornado drill. That's been postponed until tomorrow morning because of the winter weather in the area. Nine